you see when a mommy and a daddy love each other very much they get a bro hey welcome back to the shop or my computer screen today we are in honor of Muhammad e 93a um, going to do a tutorial on how to do how I made this cool little um, uh, thing for my nephews here uh, it's a uh, it's pretty simple we're gonna use fusion 360 we're gonna ramp right through it if you are interested in this uh, sort of a video please stick around like share comment um, we can do some more like this or of similar things uh, and if you haven't started following me on Instagram uh, go ahead uh, it's not gonna hurt anything it took me eight weeks but Muhammad e 93a here you go buddy this one's for you it, it, it's really quite easy it shouldn't take more than 10 15 minutes we're going to go through step by step. I'm going to make mistakes because Fusion 360 is not my cup of tea. All right. Let's see here. So we, we want to pick some construction. So we'll go 1.5. So th these are essentially work planes that we're going to be working off of. So this is going to dictate the height. Um, I found that three inches works pretty well. Uh, so we'll go over here to create a sketch. We'll choose the first plane we want to work with. And uh, we'll go over here. We'll choose text. Just click anywhere. Come over here. We'll pick uh, 1.5 for the height. And uh, wh what do you want to do? Um, what would be a good one? It, I don't want it too many because it's going to take too long. Alright. 1.5 for the height. And... Uh, who do I have in my life that I that I can give all the same thing? I know. Um, bro. Yeah, let's do that, bro. Don't be mad, bro. All right. So that'll be bro. And we're just going to drag that roughly. In, I like to keep everything roughly in the center. Um, because I'm, I'm weird that way. Finish sketch. And then let's go over here. It's, it's important to get on the back side of this. Uh, so that our our uh, our text that we're about to put on here uh, will be oriented correctly. Saves us a little time in the future. So once again, just click anywhere. Uh, and we're going to do number one and height of 1.5. There we are. Look at how beautiful that looks. Okay. Finish sketch. Now, um, this, is, this is important. We'll just quick extrude. Just click on the, the text. Uh, nope. Nope. There we go. And then we choose uh, point two is probably enough. Uh, but it's important to do this, and I, I'll explain later on. But just uh, just extrude a little bit. Um, it, it it's gonna matter. So we hit our extrude command, select the text, uh, make sure that our we're going in the correct direction. So this needs to be negative point two. There we go. Number one and bro. Now. Uh, if you want to hold down the shift, select all of these, and let's rotate this, because I think it looks cooler if it's rotated. Uh, you can go like full on 90 if you want, or just a, a little bit. Uh, I, uh, let's do 45, right? 45 seems reasonable. Click the front view. Let's align this back up. And try to select all three. So if you hold down shift, uh, it will, well, well, oh, I gotta, see, you gotta do the move command. All right, so click, shift, hold down shift, and left click. All right, and then we'll use these to just bring it up. I, I just want to get it roughly on center. Um, otherwise, you know, might have some issues. There we go. Like, eh, something like that. That looks pretty good. I like that. So, now we're roughly where we need to be. So you can see that if we look at it from this side, it'll say bro. And if we look at it from this side, it says number one. Well, number one. Now, uh, so here's here's the arduous and annoying part. We're gonna we're, we're using the loft command. So if we look here, if we uh, I can't really use my mouse to point at it because apparently it'll just hover over it for a moment. But you can see what the loft command does is go from one outer shape to another outer shape. Now, if you'll look at this O, there's also an inner shape or an inner line. So we need to create a sketch 
that will select just this outer portion. And we need to do that for the R as well. And we need to do that for the B. And we're going to need to do that for the little uh, number sign here. All right, so we'll go up here to create and project include, include 3D geometry. Now you can go and select all of these very carefully, all these line segments, or you can choose somewhere in the middle, um, hit escape, and then you can dra left click, drag, and just select the line segments in the center. Be careful not to get any of the outer ones, otherwise it won't work. Finish sketch, and likewise for the R, go up here to create, include 3D geometry. Now for this one, you could just go around and select each, uh, of course that's in the way, individual line segment, depending on whether you like your sanity or not, you can do that. There's got to be a way to like select, there's probably a way to like chain collect all of these, but I, I don't know what it is. Um, notice that we don't want any of these inner ones, and it looks like somehow we selected the inner ones at some point. So let's see. Yeah, we got to delete all these inner ones again. There we go. I'm just hitting the delete button after I select them. Super simple. All right, finish that sketch. And uh, we'll do the same for the B. Click on it. Boom. There. That looks pretty. Finish. All right, so we've got three individual. Oh, poop, poop, poop. Why? What? How do we get the backside? All right, we're gonna have to delete that one. It's no good. It's no good at all. Sketch four. Edit. Sketch. Start over. Delete. Sketch. Mm. Project. Okay. Finish sketch. Okay. How is this on the back side? I ask you, how did this get on the back side? There we go. That's looking better. Finish. How did that get... How are the back... How did the back get included in all this? There we go. That's... That... that okay. That's better. That's better. All right, so get it from the inside. So apparently you can select and place it out of the plane that you're working in, which is just so strange. Okay, so that's one side. Go to the other side. Boop. So it really does pay to go like that. Um, how about you, how about no Scotty don't? Uh, delete. Finish sketch. Solid. Uh, 
Finish sketch. All right, so I want the one to be used twice. Um, so I am going to. I need to make one more sketch for this, and I need to create one more uh, geometry outline. I believe. Maybe I won't. But all right. Wait. What? What's going on here? I want to let me sketch. Let me sketch you. Okay. Project. Okay. Did it again. Check. Finish sketch. Check. Loft. You choose two profiles. Um, so we're, we're going to have to kind of think of where each one of these is going to go. Because uh, you don't want like this O going to the hash sign and these two going to the one. They need to crisscross each other. So you want the B going to the hash and the O going to the one. And then you can choose where the R goes. So that, 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 that's mostly what you're doing here. Um, so you click on one profile, click on the other profile you want. There we go. Chada. So you go down here, make sure it's on join. And uh, yeah, there you go. Now you got a, a straight line there. Hit OK. There's one. So let's do this again. Oh, we don't, what am I doing? Ha! Ah, loft. Loft you. All right, and then we'll choose this profile here. And then we'll choose the one, or one of the ones, I guess, you might say. Ooh, see how it's on cut? We don't want cut. No cut. Join. Yes, join. Be one with us. Hit OK. And then uh, now, now notice that we still have another profile here because we did this one twice. And you have to do it before you do this loft command because otherwise there's nothing for this R to go to. So you'll have to create several sketches potentially. Depends on how many letters you want to go uh, to that particular Roman numeral, right? So if I didn't have that particular sketch already done, there would have been no way for me to go from the R to the 1. I'd have to go back and redo it. And it's, it's less... Elo uh, it's a little messier that way. So, is there a way to like? How do I how do I select sharp? No, I don't want the no. I want profile. Profile me. Maybe I can get away with this. <gasps> Maybe I can. Let's try that. It'll probably end up shafting me, because you know, it wants me to look stupid. All right, I'll go to the R to that. There we go. And join. Hit OK. And then let's see. It, it's probably going to use the same sketch, and it'll be like, oh, yay, it worked. You son of a gun. All right, there it is in all of its glory. So number one, bro. I should put a number two on here uh, for the next one. Head back to here uh, to these move commands right so we had the bro so let's edit the feature and let's not make it so drastic let's just do a less of a less of a an angle let's see if that works does that work yes yes it works it works all right well what about if we wanted can i just do this instead edit feature it will let me you probably shouldn't oh okay there we go so if we want to make it taller we could do that if we want to make it shorter we can do that um, if we want to bring it to where it's not directly over but off to the side I bet it'll let us let's see if it'll let us do that looks looks good looks like it will so there you go infinite variety so well, maybe not infinite, but uh, those overhang... You got to think about your 3D printer, and you got to take into account what kind of overhangs it can do as well. Um, so as we shorten this, the length of this, this obviously will get worse, uh, the overhang-wise. Uh, but uh, I think my 3D printer can handle that. So that'll be kind of an interesting one. Let's do this one. All right. Uh, I don't really like the angle, though. So let's redo that real quick. Um, 
I want to be slightly more aggressive, I think. Yeah. No. Something like that. No, sorry. I have a concern about that review. Okay. So, we have made it this far successfully. The reason we had to do the extrusion uh, first of point two is we wanted to be able to have these inner features because the loft did not preserve the inner features. That's not what it does. It only does outer, like, solid object. There are there can be no hollow cavities in a loft. So that that's really the trick behind it. Uh, but a loft will go from just about any shape to any other shape um, pretty, pretty easily. Um, so we got to get this out to 3D print. And unfortunately... You have to apparently go into Mesh Mixer. All right. So select your solid. Uh, select your program. I have I downloaded Mesh Mixer because, you know, uh, Makers, our favorite Australian uh, Makers Muse, uh, suggested it once upon a time, and I saw a video about it, and so I did it, like a good little drone. All right. Da -da 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 -da. Export. Let's see. Hustle. Boom. Done. Continue. I, I don't know what that warning was about. It was probably something. I, I don't know. If it doesn't work, we'll do it again, and we'll see what that warning was about. So let's quick add this one in. No, not that one now. That was the previous one. That was a practice one, so I wouldn't look so stupid. And it di still didn't work. What's up with that? All right, let's choose a better landing surface. There we go. Am I happy with the size? Size looks okay. I think I can live with that. Uh, let's slice it real quick. I'm using 0.3. Uh, we're going to use PLA because it's what I have in the machine. So sue me. Uh, let's slice it and see if our walls need to be thicker because we can run into issues with that. So we're two two shells wide on this. Everything looking pretty good so far. Not seeing anything disappearing. Oh, uh, no, that all looks good. All looks good. Not seeing any cavities or areas where there's missing filament. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and print this one out. But I think these will make some rather interesting stocking stuffers um, luckily none of my family watches my videos so uh, they won't know what's coming <laughs>